Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Casa de la Triple B, a.k.a. AB Rustic Relics. And today, we're going to be reviewing a little something different. A rare pen from Parker Pen. It was only made from 1979 to 81. It was made in England. Before I give you any more hints... Go ahead and drop a comment down below if you think you know. Next hint. It is an all black Parker pen. Your other hint is it has a giant clip. Alright, if you know Parker pens, you might have got it with that one. Alright, what I'm talking about is the Parker B5. That is right, the B5, made from 1979 to 1981 in England. And this is, here it is in the original packaging. It's Parker B5. And we'll go ahead and pop that out. Actually, I don't need to pop this one, because this one's, this one out, because this one's pristine. I just recently picked up another one so I'll be keeping one for myself and I'm going to be reviewing this one before it goes on to eBay because it's a rare pen and I figure well everyone has to have the chance to see it and learn a little bit more about it so I had to do this YouTube video and this is the Parker B5 let's get to it Let's start off with a little history on this pen. During the time that this was made, Parker was already making the Parker 25, the Parker 45, the 50, the 75, 180, Miss Parker, Classic, Big Red, Swinger, and other ballpoint pens. And... This one never really caught on, so it was very short-lived. The slogan for the pen was, writes fine, writes long, and writes black. Not the most impressive slogan, but a cool design in my opinion. As a large body, a really large clip, as you can see here. And on that clip, there's one, two, three, four, five, six feathers on each side of the clip. And it's got a big button. And to fill this pen was just like your traditional jotter. You just unscrewed the cap from the barrel and place your refill in. Let's take a look at it compared to some other pens before we go in to getting some weights and measurements before we write with it. So here is the B5 in review and we're gonna go ahead and start that off next to your traditional jotter note the traditional jotter has a thinner barrel and is not quite as tall as the B5 on the right side of the B5 now we're placing the classic the classic is much thinner than both other models and has a long, thin clip, and is actually taller than the B5. Next up is another English-made Parker pen, and this is the Parker 25. Also has a fat clip, but as a square clip with the Parker logo inside of a box here, and this one is actually a cap activated model actually quite enjoy that model a lot very soothing sound and good haft and build and that is probably around the same diameter as the B5 and then finally out of the plans we're going to be showing you to for comparison is the insignia which is Right around the same, about the same height as the classic, a little fatter, has more of an angular arrow clip, 
little more aerodynamic and about as wide as the jotter maybe a little thinner but bigger than the classic let me know which of these Parker ball points is your favorite and have you used them all all right let's do some weights here's a little closer up look at the clips so you can see the differences We'll move down to the points. Let's get some weights. First up, we're going to get the weight of the B5, which has a plastic barrel and a metal clip. And that one weighs 13.3 grams. Next, we're going to do the Jotter, which is smaller than the B5, but has a plastic barrel and a stainless steel cap and clip. That one is 12.8 grams. 12.8. So, still lighter than the B5. Next, we're going to do the Classic, and this one is in matte black and gold trim. And that is an all metal pen. And that one weighs 16 grams. 16 grams. So even though it was all metal, so the classic is right around 4 grams more than the Jotter. The Jotter was 12 and this is 16. All right, now we're on to the insignia. All metal pen is lacquered. And that is 20.5 grams. Finally, we're going to do the Parker 25, which is all stainless steel and quite a bit wider. So that's going to be a hefty pen there. And that one is 21.2 grams. The, the biggest of the bunch. These are the two English ones. See, I think they did a real good job at these. Huh? And neither one of them are real long lived. The, the 25 wasn't made for a long time either. Alright, well, I think it's time to move on. To a writing sample but before I do that I'm just gonna go ahead and pull that insert out of the box of the original just so you could take a look and how it would have looked in there so I, don't, I shouldn't have to take the pen out and everything for that as you can see pull that right out and this is your B5 insert and this model was made in 79 or at least the paperwork was printed and the paperwork was printed in the USA and as you already know the pen was made in England and there is your filling instructions set up the same way pretty much as a jotter unscrew cap and remove empty refill insert new refill be sure the point Rides freely in the barrel spring. Replace cap. Start the ink flow by writing a few quick check marks. Well, bam. Well, I think it's time for us to write with this rare Parker pen. Let's get to it. Got our paper. Got our pen. As I said before, it's just a regular old push button. Simple as that. I'm going to move it closer because I know you guys want a better sound of that clip at, in action. Not the clip in action. The click in action. Sorry about that. Good looking pen, isn't she? Alright, let's write with her.
very smooth. I like the width of the pen. I like a pen with a little more girth to it. Don't strain my hand as much. It is a little a little lighter than my typical writing preference, but it's not bad. Let's do a little, little faster writing. Oops. <laughs> if she writes really nice, I think I would definitely be switching the refill though to something a little more wide, like a medium or something like that, because this one's a little too thin. But it would be nice if you're drawing or doing something where you need details, then this point would probably be good. Well, there you have it. That is the Parker B5. Only made for three years, from 1979 to 1981. This one being made in 79. So it's the first year making thus even rarer. Parker B5. A rare and unusual looking Parker pen, but... One of my faves, to say the least. If you also like this pen, this pen is going to be going on to our eBay page. I'm going to be cleaning it up real nice. And there will be plenty of pictures there so you can see for yourself how lovely she looks. And drop a bid if you want it to be yours. Well, that's all she wrote. This is Big Bad Brad from AB Rustic Relics. Thanks for tuning in for another pen review. And also, if you like more than just reviews and want to get out there in the field with myself and the family, we go on many pen ventures all over the Midwest. And we go to all sorts of cool stationery shops, museums, and whatnot. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification to see where life brings us next. Ciao, Maine.